What's up? Hey, I'm just sitting down to film this video for the new Viltrox lens they sent and uh, I wanted to get your thoughts. Let me guess, another APS-C lens. Full frame actually. So the 85 version three then, yeah. 24. 24? What, F2.8 I guess. 1.8? Hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of in competition with the GM. Exactly. Has a lot of focus, that's like the first thing people always ask. I send you everything, it's in the shared folder. There's stills and this photo, all the tests. I see that. It's actually pretty good. I'm a little bit surprised to be honest with you. I know, it's not bad. It was F4 as well. Transition speed was, I think, seven, which is the max on the, uh, the A7S III. I did think it was hunting at times, but it turns out the minimum focus distance is just a bit more than I'm used to. It's 30 centimeters. I mean, it's not bad. It's 24 centimeters in the GM. How much is it though? I don't know. They haven't got back to me yet about it, but I'm gonna guess like four to 500. That's what the 85 is around that price. And that's a full frame one too, right? G Master's 1400. So they're really attacking people who want that lens really, aren't they? Giving them another option. I know. Take a look at the stills though. Tell me what you think. Yeah, I'm looking. Are you sure you didn't take these with the G Master? <laughs> no, but they are in there as well. If you want to take a look, the side by sides. I shot the 24105. I'm actually quite impressed. I will say though, there's definitely some vignetting. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. Look on the right side as well, in the corners, in the top and bottom, they appear to be a bit softer than the left, which is strange. Hey, did you notice the Viltrox is a little bit wider? Mm-hmm. They're both 24s, but it's definitely wider than the GM. For the cost though, it's a pretty decent lens. You could vlog with it, right? Yeah, 24 is not a bad length for vlog. And if you don't like that big, super wide look, 24 is definitely yeah, a vloggable focal length. Nice little selfie you got there too. Shut up. It was to test the eye sharpness. Sure, okay. How's the, uh, how's the build quality? That's a thing people care about. They're gonna ask, I'm sure. Same build quality as the other Viltrox lenses, to be honest with you. You still got the 23, right? Yeah, I actually have it right here, strangely enough. Well, imagine that, it's just bigger. Oh, I see you've shot the B-roll already too. Yeah, it's in there. The lens hood on this one as well, it's uh, it's plastic opposed to the metal on the 23. Wonder why, the metal one would have been nice. The manual focus ring kind of sounds like it rubs in certain points as you rotate it as well. Look, I'll hold it up to the phone. You hear that? Yeah, I hear that. Does it work okay though? Yeah, totally fine. Is it de-clicked like on the 23? Yep. And it has a little A on there as well, so you can turn it to that and then control it with the camera too if you wanted to. Nice. I guess it's not weather sealed like the G Master though, right? At this price, no, no, you'll be lucky. Doesn't have a, a manual focus switch either or an autofocus switch on the side like the GM does. But I did actually notice on the back, it has a, a USB-C port right there. So you can plug in, update the firmware and then if there's issues with autofocus or anything like that, Viltrox can update it. G Master doesn't have that. No, but the GM is pretty much perfect in my opinion. You know that. Fair point. Guess you're not selling the GM then, right? No, not a chance. But I mean, if someone's not wanting to spend $1,400 on the GM, this is a pretty good option, don't you think? I guess. Poor man's 24 millimeter, innit? Hey, it's not very nice. Listen, anyway, I've got to go and shoot this video. So make sure when you edit this, that you put more example video at the end, because I know people are going to want to see. Will do. Bye, Felicia. Off. If you want to see another autofocus test, well, here you go. This is an f1.8. I've obviously got an ND on as well on the a7S3. We're shooting at 7 for the autofocus speed, so responsive. Sun's on, which means the IAF probably won't work. A little bit different to what I normally shoot, I know. Just trying things out, and that took far longer to make than I thought it would, and I also can't act, so that didn't really help. I've thrown some RAWs down below for you to take a look at the shot with this lens, nothing special, just for you to see how it handles, and if you're a pixel peeper, you can take a look at that as well. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you later.